This is going to be the first part of these Maytag how to do tips. What I have found in rebuilding these Maytag mixers, they all seem to have the same part number, S244. You will run into a mixer that has a line underneath the bottom number. Not all Maytag mixers had breathers in them. Uh, I have two, two types of breathers. This one has the set screw. This one has a ring around it that went inside the mixer as such. This one went in and you tighten the set screw to hold it on. This is, uh, I'm thinking, the older one. Not all one cylinder Maytag 92 had these on there. It was what kind of uh, service that the engine was installed in, the type of washer, as if it had a breather or if it had a screen such as this. The screen went in the mixer in, in the opening and would have a snap ring in it. The, this, they were two sizes that I have here on the workbench. This one, a 532nd, this one is 1 8 inch material. Both of these appear to be original Maytag. I disassembled them out of Maytag mixers. And I have here, uh, that's what I'm doing today is making the snap rings plus the screens to go in the mixer. The reason being, and I do advise all, if you have a Maytag that does not have a mixer in it, by all means put a screen in it, especially if you live in an area where dirt daubers is prevalent. Even bugs uh, can get in here, a dirt dauber uh, will destroy an engine. It will build a dirt dauber nest in there, and then you run an engine, it deteriorates, it runs through, wears your rings out. By all means, put a breather, a screen in it, if you do not have a breather. A screen wire and a snap ring. You just put that right there, hit it with a hammer, and it'll go in there, and it will be as original to some engines. I do have an eighth of an inch stock and 530 seconds. And I did turn this 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 spiral here on a mandrel in the vise, just a round rod. And uh, I did heat this, annealed it to soften it, and then when you spiral it, it will work hard, harden, and then when you put it in there, it'll have enough spring to hold in there. But in order to facilitate that, I took a thick wall uh, tubing that was uh, near size to what I stock I'm working with, and I, I beveled it on the edge there so that it would not scratch the material or it did it. And then I just worked it around the mandrel. And I, what I will do is hacksaw this now uh, straight across, and I will put a gap in it. And I'll use soft jaws in the vise to hold this. And when, when I do, saw that, this is what I will end up with. Uh, I, I did make one of these, and one of these are factory original. It's hard to tell which is which, unless a uh, point... This this happens to be an original one. It was probably machine made as if you look at several. If you only have one or do not have one, you would never know this. It was made in a machine that it dents the ends of them. So to copy that, uh, I did try to dent the end of the one I made. I made one of these, one of these are original. It's close enough until if your engine was equipped with a breather that you find a breather, you can use this and protect your engine. To make the screens, this is just screen wire. Uh, do not use the nylon stuff. You need something with a body to it. But uh, uh, it's cut easily with a pair of scissors and just just cut it right around 
and you don't have to hold this tight just hold it follow right around cut a circle what you end up with is a circle and and you will have a short piece on this side and a little short piece on this side you want to dispose of those two so they don't get sucked in the engine then that will fit right in there that's all it should be smaller than the hole so that when you put the snap ring in there it will tighten it up the way that I figured what size to cut that screen is I just found a washer that would fit right in there loosely so that's all there is to that just th that and if you decide to make your snap rings out of 1 8 inch material it will look like this this is a factory original one and it would go there you just hit it with the hammer and it falls right in there I'm not ready to install these just yet but that's the way that you do protect your engine another observation in the mixers and you have to have several of them to know this some mixers has two ears on top mm, engine owners says that the ones with the ear is the ones that had the screw type breather I'm not sure uh, you be the judge uh, the the two types are one is round one has the ears uh, you will find if you have several mixers that they had the screw type on a round body now another observation not all mixers would accept a snap ring an example is this one has the the undercut for the snap ring or the breather this one does not have the sides was never indented for a snap ring so this would not have had a snap ring in it it would have definitely been a breather type mixer another observation is it's the same part number but the screw that holds the seat in the in the mixer this one goes straight in the side the majority of them you will find goes in at an angle it's just the difference uh, it, it's it may have been manufacturer may have been your model I'm not sure what I wanted to show you today was to put these screens in here and how to do that and you just just turn you a coil saw it in two deburr it cut the little screen and install it in your mixer uh, I will follow up with another video on how to install the seat and how to uh, cut a new seat uh, I will follow up a video on that and uh, I hope this has been some help and and as always now you will find some other variations I, I have found mild steel in Maytag mixers I'm not sure if it was original the majority of them will be brass I think brass would have probably been the norm uh, another thing maybe in the war years when there was a shortage on metals for the army uh, I think that Maytag probably installed some metal rings it's just observation I hope this bit has been a help it's just shop tips Maytag is getting her done